Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 31 in chapter 27. Chapter 27 is about magnetism. So there, we need to compare the Lorentz force on a charged particles with its gravity. And there, the given quantity is about Earth's magnetic field density. B. We write it there. And also, we know the particle's mass and the charge, right? So there is a mass is given as a 238 mu. So mu is the automatic mass, right? So we can check your textbook, get the number there. The next one tell us this charged particles do circular motion um, above the equators. So the distance above the equator is given as a 5,000 meter, right? So the radius for this circular motion is very obverse. That is the radius of the Earth plus the distance above the equator. So we can write it there, right? So this is given quantities. Now we compare this Lorentz force with gravity. Lorentz force we can write as QVB and the gravity as mg, right? So you can see, compare these two, we don't know it's V, right? It looks like we need to find the velocity for this particle at first. So how can we do? We know this charged particle do circular motion. So the Lorentz force just uh, make it do circular motion. So Lorentz force becomes central force and the mass with the V squared divided by R. So we get the function for velocity V there. Then we can write the ratio for the Lorentz force with gravity, right? Look at there. And then input V inside. So simplify it. We get the function look like this one, input all the given quantities. We get the answer is there. Wow, it's a huge number, right? You can see the magnetic force is more than 200 million times larger than gravity. So of course, we can ignore gravity. Thank you.